Hey everybody, the Doctor here, once again running solo as I do a review here today, this week, of My Hero Academia, Chapter 103, The Exam. And this week I'm going to try something a little different, just because I'm trying to experiment a little bit since it's just me this time, rather than um, with a typical manga fan. This time I'm doing something of a blind read. I have not looked at this moment, at the time of recording, I have not looked at the chapter yet. All I've got in front of me right now is the cover page, which is just a nice little one of Todoroki and um, Deku. <clears throat> like some inspiration like, like seize it, the qualification, the fight, etc. Let's get into the chapter proper now. Well, let's read a couple pages of fan art, then we'll get into the chapter proper now. There we go. And we're opening up with our, um, your, with a quick little picture of Yoro Rossi. Sarah's just kind of recapping what we got before. That he says he loves UA and everything, but he rejected the admission offer. Which doesn't make sense, but... Aizawa does know that he's dangerous, that he's powerful enough to be to take careful note of him. Oh, oh this is gonna be. I had not even read the dialogue, and I can already tell this is gonna be good. <laughs> like, erase, eraser, is that you? Someone's calling out the eraser head. And the look on his face, as the liveliest person we've seen in a while, just pops in there. It's like she's got like little happy faces on her belt. <clears throat> almost looks like. Eh, kind of looks like an RPG character, almost like with the. Power gloves and the bandana. <clears throat> and she looks excited because I've seen it on TV, but it's a long time since we've seen each other face to face. Deku, of course, recognizes her, but before seeing her, he's like, Let's get married! No. Oh, thanks, good one. <laughs> and I was like, You've got an unamusing sense of humor. And, it, and this is where Deku gets here, introduction the smiling hero, Miss Joke. Her quirk is called Roaring Laughter. Oh my god, she casts Tasha's hideous laughter on people. <coughs> D&D reference for anybody who does not know this. It's basically a spell that makes you, by forcing people around her to laugh, she impairs their cognitive and motor skills. Her villain suppression techniques are insane. Probably literally. <coughs> and she's like, if you marry me, we can start a family. Unbearable laughter and joy. No. So you notice that um, they seem pretty close, and they actually did work closely together because their offices were, were close by. So they worked together plenty. Relationship built on mutual love. Untrue. <laughs> and this, she's here with her students. So we're looking at this group now. Right. Hmm. Yep, we're just seeing like some of the guys here. Just a few different students. Nothing... Too noteworthy, though one of them almost looks like Kimiko, Toga. Hmm. Hmm. And they're all just kind of making their comments like, hey, these people saw on TV, etc., etc. And it says, Ketchu Butchu Academy, second year, class two. Those are her kids. And we get some introductions, a guy named Shindo. He's just, he's just like grabbing everybody, shaking their hands, like top speed, it looks like. He actually seems to get a little nervous actually sticking out his Bakugo. It's a little odd. But he's like, the words coming out of your mouth don't match with your face, Bakugo. It's like, and we actually do see that it's kind of true. He's like, got, got a little bit of this, like, smug thing going on there. <clears throat> the girl wants a picture of Todoroki and an autograph. Or an autograph only, my mistake. Mineta offers two. <laughs> and they're pretty much sent off to go get in their costumes. And it, the students themselves are realizing just how famous they are just from being <coughs> from UA. Like, at this point, Ms. Joke's like, you haven't told him yet, Eraser. Apparently there's something big going on here. <coughs> so, and, it, and the main crowd is like just packed. It's like a lot of people there. Even Deku's like, so many. And Nua Raka is just like gaping. Right. Now so now we get into the introduction. We get this guy who looks kind of like a Muppet. My name is Mara, I'm from the Heroes Public Safety Commission. My favorite form of sleep is N NREM sleep. Good to meet you all. Oh, my work's so busy, I've hardly had been able to sleep. There's just not enough manpower. I want to sleep! Alright, that out of the way, let me explain this to y'all. <laughs> it was like, okay, he looks like he's going to pass out any moment now. 
and he explains that there are over 1,500 people here taking this exam, and they're going to carry out an exercise to whittle down the numbers. Uh oh. I can already see there's going to be like something either really weird or really stupid coming. And he just kind of goes on like with the, these people say they're living in a superhero society, and since Dane's capture, there are many who question that current state of affairs with heroes. He goes on to his name, then Deku and Ida are kind of remembering like some of Stain's words, or at least some of his philosophy. <clears throat> An individual, no matter what the motive, to put your life on the line for others, to save others, but don't seek anything, that is the merciless expectation of today's society, the sleepy man says. In any case, be it for compensation or to pure heroism, many heroes have endeavored to dedicate themselves to rescuing others and suppressing villains. From the beginning of an incident to its resolution, that window of time is becoming increasingly small and tight. All of you who receive a provisional license will be plunged into the rapids. For those who cannot keep up with that speed, I'll say it clearly, it is relentless. Therefore, what's being tested is your speed. Until the first hundred examinees who requ receive a required condition will pass. So they're actually taking down like 1,500 to 100 in one shot. <clears throat> and that's like, maybe maybe the whole thing about 5% versus 50% was weird after because there's some questions about that but mm. like people describe like wait there are 1500 of us here and that's like 5% isn't it well a lot's happened recently in the world just think of it as the hand you've all been dealt what and so we got the passing conditions which are little look like a little cup and ball type of thing every examinee will have three targets you can place them wherever you like but it must be an exposed area places like the soles of your feet or armpits are not allowed Okay, so you have to place them on your body. At least get six balls to carry. If a ball hits a target, the target will light up. If all three balls hit your targets, you get lit up. And if all three targets get lit up, you lose. An individual who lands the third hit will be credited with a takedown. Those who have at least two takedowns pass. It's that simple. <clears throat> and Deku's comparing it to the entrance exam, but then they're all kind of realizing it's very different from going up against robots. They only get six shots, and they, so we just wondering if they're encouraging a strategy where they wait and try to snatch the third target. Even Deku's noticed that compared to the entry exam, these are some severe rules. Well then, once the expansion is complete, the b balls and targets will be distributed, and then we'll start one minute after everything spread out. And at the word expansion, the building opens up like a dungeon dice monster style. And the whole thing turns into like a big old, it's almost like the USJ training area. <clears throat> I mean, or at least that's what he, and it's just like a massive thing, or at least that's what the one guy thinks. It, Sleepy Man's like, it may be a bit excessive. I can't tell because I haven't been able to sleep. So, it's, at least that's how I think about this reveal. In any case, it may be a bit excessive because of all this, I haven't been able to sleep. And meanwhile, we have Ms. Joke trying to get Eraser Head to check his zipper. Like, why am I always surrounded by these people? Like, as you know, it's 20 people. Like, it's not rare to have... And Ms. Joke knows that it's rare for Aizawa not to have expelled someone already. Must be pretty fun of this class, huh? And she downgrades her offer of marriage to a date. She tells her to shut up. And we move on to the back to the students. Like just talking to you, I was like, if it's just about the first to pass, and there's no point in us trying to compete with each other. The best way for us to win is to all, for, for us who all know each other's abilities, to team up. So don't stray too far, they should move in a group. Like, Deku's taking charge, kind of encouraging teamwork. Bakugo does exactly the opposite. Yeah, so does Todoroki, actually. If we're in a large group, I can't demonstrate my abilities. Todoroki! Like, alright, fine. And they won't further point out that it's a bad idea to go out on your own because everybody knows who they are. And it's like, Ms. Joke is like, it's the same thing every year with this professional life exam. If there's one thing to call it custom, well, let's see here. Hang on, let's see if we can kind of get my bearing on this page here. Sorry about this. Oh, okay. So Deku's pointing out strategy that he just talked about. Like the other schools are thinking the same way. It's going to become a battle of different of the different schools. Like everyone's going to kind of group up with them, their own group. 
which case natural becomes a matter of what's called a target. And Ms. Joke has pointed out that there's always a, something of a custom here. Like amongst the competition of schools from all over the country, there's one school that does not share in, in the advantage of others not knowing your powers. The top school that is featured in the sports festival, an event for all, all to see quirks, weaknesses, and fighting styles on display. Because every time it always starts the same way. It all starts with the UA crushing. Like everybody's going after UA. And they're like super, like so. So, what was it? Shindo, I think it was. It's power. He's noting a power that's destructive to its own user. Well, if I stick a stick out, then we'll just hammer it. If a stick, stick sticks out, then we'll hammer it down. And there, and I was like, there's no particular reason I didn't warn them about that. In the end, they don't. What they have to do doesn't change. They're probably more effective than just a. Oh. And we have Deku remembering um, all my words. That'll be more effective than just a stop cap, especially in the provisional exam. See him charging up his legs, and then as I was like, they just have to overcome everyone that stands in their way. Or they just have to overcome what stands in their way. Being a hero means being able to get yourself out of a pinch. Once you become a pro, it's a given that your quirk has been exposed to the world. Sorry to say, but we're just looking a bit further ahead than everyone else. And we kind of, and that's kind of where we end off here. Like, like we looks like Deku's combined here with Uraraka, Ashido, Tokiyami, and Minetta. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing right there. Well, I, I think Soji was in there too, but I'm not seeing him at the moment. <clears throat> but either way, like I said, that's just like once again, Isawa kind of just throws him right into the freaking fire. So this ought to be interesting, and it will be interesting to see how many of them actually get through to the end of it. Now that we know that everybody is targeting them, everybody. That ought to be interesting. Because actually, that's a kind of a good point right there. Like, if you don't know who everyone's UA, it, they're famous, so everybody kind of knows what they can do, or at least the big names can do. So that's, that promises to be interesting. Not much to really theorize on just yet. We've got the Shindo, the guy Baku kind of recognized as a bit too smug for his own good. we got Yo Arashi, who's probably in there somewhere. Here's about what his deal is going to be. Wonder what Todoroki's... Wonder if we'll see many differences from him, because he's, he's a adapting his fire. Now, we haven't really seen too much of that outside of Stain that I can think of. And Bakugo, he'll be Bakugo. So I think Kiyoshima went with him. He usually does. So, we've got that to look forward to. But, let's see. We've got a little more fan art down here. I don't know if there's too much else to go on here. Actually, there actually there might be one little thing I can do here. I'm going to hit one of the forums I used to go to for these guys. Um, no, one comment here suggests that maybe Shindo... Quirk activated the moment he shook everybody's hands. That's a possibility. Ability. That's why, and Baku avoided that. Hmm. It's, that could actually be a good thing on there. Let's see what we have here on some other comments. Let's see here. I was looking at a couple forums, like the TV Tropes forum and Arlong Park are like my two main forums. So I'm just kind of popping around here, seeing if there's any particularly noteworthy co co um, comments on here. There's one here to point out that that's why they need new techniques before the exam. And if one of them does get taken down, like one person's thinking it's Todoroki, since Bakugo is typically the one to get warped, warp affected. Oh, hang on. Somebody pointed out something I didn't quite catch here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Apparently, Mineta's anal, anal bee thing are acting like a whip. Hmm. That all this, all those balls on one string. <laughs> and he, actually, one thing I just noticed here as well is like he actually pulled them right off of his head. That's kind of interesting. See that um, just like dissolving as many of the balls as you can get. That's cool. Let's see here. And someone pointed out you're like the roll simple but interesting. Even though you being tagged once or twice doesn't knock you out, it's going to make your exam a lot harder because it makes you an attractive target that doesn't cost too much to get out. So that's an actually an interesting point. Might be some possibility of some backstabbing within the school groups happening later on. Probably as the numbers whittle down. Okay, so there's that. Let's take a look at Arlong Park here now. Okay, bear with me a moment. Another manga enemy. Where are you? Your academia. Here we go. Alright. 
Another comment says they made one of the turn on each other's comment twists and dwindles. And let's see here. Hmm. The picture doesn't show, but apparently there's a back a crowd paint someone from the crowd design for a major character later. It's probably Shindo. Or the sleepy man. Let's see here. Huh, here's a kind of interesting point, like that the current theme of push the other guy down so he can rise above competition is probably the most jarring concept in the series. Like, this is not how heroes act. That's the, the exact kind of thing why Stain was going around stabbing people. Hmm. Yeah, like, they, these aren't heroes. They're salarymen competing for a job position by slinging mud at each other. Hmm. Yeah, interesting one here. Let's see here. But it's also noted that Crescent the leading happens a lot in sports events, so that's, it's not like a surprising turn of events. Let's see here. Hmm. Let's see here. There's this big old wall of text joke. I'm not going to go to that one right now. All right, what's next? This got some neat stuff on here. Like I said, we're we're getting little hints of what these guys can do now, so we'll hopefully see what comes of that. In the meantime, though, that has been um, my own little bit quickie review of. My Hero Academia, Chapter 103, The Exam. So if there's anything you want me to ask about me, ask about or maybe bring to my attention, maybe I've missed something before, hit me up on Twitter at, at sgamer82, that's 82 the number. Or just put a comment in the video here. Either one works. Uh, I'm I'm going to try and be better about replying. I don't know how, about eh, so-so. But hit me up, like I said, if there's anything you want to bring up or some question you have, hit me up and we'll see what happens. Uh, well, that kind of sounded like a want ad or something. Sorry. <laughs> In any case, like I said, uh, me not, okay, so I'm just going to end it here before I make an even bigger idiot of myself. Again, that's My Hero Academia, Chapter 103. And I'm going to take us all the way now. Bye-bye.